Behind every U.S. fighter jet, there is a weapon most people never think about, one that doesn't make headlines like air-to-air -air missiles or guided bombs, yet often decides the outcome of a dogfight. It is not high-tech, it is not new, and it doesn't rely on radar or tracking systems. It is the 20mm round, a small piece of metal that serves as the backbone of close-range firepower for U.S. Air Force fighter aircraft. At first glance, a 20mm round looks insignificant compared to a missile that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. But this ammunition fills a role nothing else can replace. It is fast, accurate, and brutally effective in the final seconds of combat, the moment when speed, reaction, and instinct take over. In close engagements where missiles lose lock, get spoofed, or the range collapses, the cannon becomes the ultimate equalizer. The 20mm round is fired from the legendary M61A1 Vulcan, a six-barrel rotary cannon capable of unleashing up to 6,000 rounds per minute, about 100 rounds every second. That means a pilot doesn't need a long burst. A single squeeze lasting just a quarter of a second can shred an enemy aircraft or disable a light-armored vehicle. It is a weapon built for speed, violence, and precision.
The same caliber is shared across multiple generations of fighters, the F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, F-22 Raptor, and F-35 Lightning II. Different aircraft, same ammunition. That is not a coincidence, it is proof of trust. Even in an age of stealth aircraft and long-range missiles, the U.S. Air Force refuses to fly without a gun. Every pilot knows, when everything else fails, the 20mm cannon is still there. These rounds have been used in real operations since the Cold War, from air superiority missions to close air support and convoy protection. You cannot jam them, you cannot hack them, and they work in every weather, every altitude, every theater. Why doesn't the Air Force switch to 25mm or 30mm shells? Because 20mm strikes the perfect balance. Larger rounds are heavier, create more recoil, and reduce ammunition capacity. Not ideal for fast-moving jets that rely on maneuverability. 20mm is light enough to carry in large numbers, yet powerful enough to destroy what matters. In other words, small size, maximum effect. Missiles win the long-range fight, but the gun wins the fight that happens face-to-face. -face. Every pilot knows that when they press the trigger and hear, guns, 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 they are using the oldest, most personal weapon in aerial combat, one that has outlasted every generation of technology. <laughs> 